My name is Margaret Ashira. My age is 34 years. In 1999, I lost my husband. He died. At the moment, I have no work because when I became ill, I was so down. So I couldn't continue with the job I was doing. I was a housemaid. Then it came to an end. And after three weeks, I had started eating. Vomiting had stopped. Diarrhearing had stopped. Mouth ulcers had stopped. I, I started gaining uh, strength slowly by slowly I could get a cup of water where it is and I take it on my own I can't cheat you that I have even a single cent even getting food is a very hard task uh, the Taibao doesn't have any side effect we have those who are just taking antiretroviral drugs and there are clients who only take Taibao, the herbal medicine. As far as Taibao and their is concerned, I would, I would rather be for Taibao. I was very sick, I had skin rashes all over, and uh, Taibao helped me a lot. Because one Taibao, they don't have a lot of side effects like uh, the ARVs. And also with the Taibao, you can use it and break sometimes. But well, uh, ARVs, immediately you start using <coughs> it, you will use it for the rest of your life. But it didn't work for me. Okay. As you can see right now, if I don't share with you, can you tell whether I'm positive? I look pretty. Yes. In Africa, curses are often sent as physical objects into people's bodies, homes, or their shadows. <laughs> Ola Balati, a Maasai Laibon or medicine man from the Loiter Hills in Kenya, specializes in this work, as well as herbal medicine. He performs an Enkidong, a kind of psychic reading, to ascertain if it's all right to show me how he does this work. He goes to collect herbs needed for healing and to make an amulet to protect me. He prepares a piece of parchment, fills it with herbs, and ties it into a tight package. And this one is for wealth, was it? Yeah. The fly can stay alive in somebody's body until that person has died. <laughs> They sing deep into the night, and he blesses and protects everyone present. When I was 12 years old, the angel came to me at night and told me that I'll be here to heal the people in this village.
George Juma Onyango is a lay priest in the Africa Roho Msalaba Church in Kenya. The angel gave George the power to see and remove curses, which are often physical objects sent into people's bodies, homes or shadows. He scratches the skin and sucks out the object that has been placed there by witchcraft. Pray for you, and there's nothing they will put it again from you. I'm far from here, <laughs> just far from here. We took an x ray of the pelvis of this patient, we saw one and two opacities. We did another x ray after two days. In this x ray, we showed disappearance of the masses as we were told by George. Well, I must say that this experience has shaken my scientific belief quite a lot. Mm. My body is shaking. It seems these things are very, very strong. Just do it, just do it. You know, they are very moving here. There's somebody who puts a, a, a witchcraft in, in another boma. I'll go and remove it at his home. George had seen and described a package buried at the old man's farm. Here it is, just as he'd described. You can also pull packages from a distance. Did you hear the noise of it hitting there? Yeah, I also heard the noise hitting just where you pointed at. And it was very fast, I saw something flying by. You can actually see it flying through the door. This of bone. So it's feeling better now? Yeah, it's feeling better now. That's great. Yeah. So today we'll finish. George had described a piece of bone in the old man's shoulder. <gasps> that thing has hit my tongue. It's very dangerous. A curse fights back. George is hit and falls into a deep coma. We take him to his church in the village. They try to exorcise the evil. <laughs> Through this woman in trance, the spirits say why they have taken him. And then he was mad, fighting very strongly. Mm. Then those people held him and they prayed heavily. And then he came back to normal. If you remove and then you, you know you are fighting with the power of Muganga, and the power of the staff. So you have to be very, very careful. Master herbalists, the Maasai medicine men, use complex divination techniques and ancient shamanic artifacts in their healing work. Torere, a direct descendant of Olenana, the acknowledged founder of the Laibon lineage, grinds herbs and places them in an ormoti, or sacred pipe, for smoking. He uses a bone called an engobet to blow into Lacera's chest and to clear his energy field. Ola Nana's ivory pipe is one of the most famous heirlooms in all Maasai land. This one is almost 100 years. You just find from his father. This one is Urmoti to heal the people and the cows. 
the Maasai do not kill the animals, but they just collect the bones of the dead animals. These things are from our ancestors. They are not newly made. Therefore, they should not be illegal. This is Ole Pore, and we're in Ole Meshe in the Loiter Hills. And he's showing me some of the old things that are used by him in his work that have been handed down from his great-grandfather, Batian, to him for use.